Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Patricia. Hello, Juan. Hello, Alfredo. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome hello, good back. Evening. Welcome back. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Dina. All right. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Sara. Hello, hello. Anna. Hello, Blanca. Right. Uh, who can tell me? Hello. Hi. Who, hello, Andrea Cruz. Who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? Okay, a the alphabet. Numbers, WH questions. What else? Possessives. Okay. The verb to be. Good. So today we are going to be getting started on section number four. Section number four, okay? Now, for section number four, we're going to be looking at section 4.0, lesson objective. In this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. En esta clase aprenderán vocabulario sobre la ropa y el armario, sobre ropa que se usa particularmente para trabajar y para descansar. So the topic is vocabulary clothes. I want everybody to get out your notebook and your pen, notebook and pen, very good. Thank you, Jennifer. And I want you to take notes and listen. Repeat, please. Shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Sure. Belt. Jacket. Jacket. Suit. Okay. Coat. Coat. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater, jeans, gloves, jeans. boots, Close. cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, 
Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, everybody, please repeat after me. Clothes for work. Clothes for work. Clothes for leisure. Clothes for leisure. Shirt. Shirt. Tie. Tie. Belt. Belt. Jacket. Jacket. Pants. Pants. Suit. Shoes. 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 Coat. 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 Blouse. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt. Skirt. High heels. High heels. Dress. Dress. Raincoat. Raincoat. Clothes for leisure. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Hat. Gloves. Boots. Boots. Pants. Pants. Jacket. Jacket. Okay, now we're going to look at the woman. Repeat. Blouse. 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 Scarf. Scarf. Skirt. 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 High heels. High heels. High heels. High heels. Dress. 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 Clothes for leisure. Hat. 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 Sweater. 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 Gloves. Gloves. Jeans. Jeans. Boots. 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 Cap. T-shirt. Short. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuit. Okay. So you have to give me five examples for clothes for work and five examples clothes for leisure. For example, you're going to say, I wear, number one, I wear a tie for work. I wear a cap, a cap to go to the park. I wear a swim suit to go to the beach. 
Okay, five with the clothes for work and fives with the clothes for leisure. In pairs. Do you understand? understand. You're, yes. You're, you're yes. going to go here to the discussion forum. And you're going to write your examples there. Any questions? No. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Perfect. Ya, ya tiene la imagen, no sé. Sí. Yo la tengo. Okay. Vaya. Primero de Word, ¿verdad? De sí. For work. Entonces sería... I wear mm. oh, cute, cute. Y en I wear day for yo uso y de ir a la, la prenda, ¿verdad? La prenda y en qué ocasión. Uh -huh. I wear a team for work. I, I wear a team. I wear. Sí, ahí es corbata, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá, corbata. Hello. Hola. Hola. Regresé con usted. Ok. Vaya, estamos haciendo, eh, serían tres oraciones con I wear. Yo he puesto I wear a addressing my house. Mm -hmm. Y la otra de pronto, I, I wear a stiff um, from work. No sé qué otra podemos agregar. Yo había puesto I wear a blouse to work. Y también puse I wear jeans to work. Uh -huh. 
Ok, podemos poner el hardware a... a crop en, en... ¿Cómo se sería? En el... ¿En casa? No, en la casa hay mucho calor. En el No, es que park. no lo entendí. Ajá. En el parque, porque um, hace... Bueno, hace frío en el parque, pero diría que los maigrados. Creo que estaría no solo en el work, solo en el trabajo. Uh -huh. I uh, wear a shoes, sería el otro. Sí, I wear shoes to work. Shoes. Sure. Sure. Uh, wear a shirt. No sé si sería at home. Mm, quiero ver, ¿verdad? Yo uso camisetas, I wear a shirt at work, at sí. home, en la casa, en casa, no sé. Uh -huh. Go to the work, when I'm trabajo, sería un shirt también. I'm not sure if it's a shirt. Podemos poner eso también. ¿Cuál? Y la otra en la en el trabajo sería algo en my work, from works, sería cinco. I wear a shirt. Um, como todos tienen que hacer el trabajo. Yo de trabajo ah, tenía tres. Ajá. Yo había puesto, I wear a work. Address in my house. Bueno, no sé si siempre sería solo en el trabajo o, o se puede poner en la casa. No. Yo creo que en la casa, el video creo que decía las dos cosas. Sí. Y... Ambas. Tenemos tres y tres. Cinco y cinco tres. son. Ah, sí. Ok. Ok. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? No questions at this moment? No questions. Is everybody... No. Decir, para decir lentes? Uh, yo uso lente. Glasses. No, no aplica en este caso. Yes. You can say yes. I I wear glasses for work. Teacher, hi, hi. I wear glasses for work. Uh huh. Yes. In este caso, teacher, no no le pone. Cuando es uno se pone A. That is correct. I wear mm. a tie for work. En el caso de los zapatos, I teacher. wear shoes for work. Mm -hmm. Teacher, fíjese que nosotros en la práctica le pudimos he o she. Pero entonces ahí me pedía que le pusiéramos el, la S al... That's right. Al wear. He wears a tie for work. Y es por tercera She, persona, Tisha. That is correct. Wears a dress for work. Excellent. Any more questions? No. All right. Are you finished or do you need more time? More time. More time? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Let's go. More time. Hola. Hola, hola, hola. 
hoy haríamos pues, siempre con lo mismo vamos a seguir, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero eran cinco, no las habíamos terminado. Cinco y cinco, dijo al final. Ok, entonces yo en la primera puse, bueno, yo ya tengo las cinco de, de trabajo. De trabajo y la, usted todavía no las tiene. Tengo tres. Ok. Um, la, de, la de los zapatos la tengo mala porque la, me dijo el... ¿Por qué? Eh, en zap, zapatos en la oficina, ¿cómo sería? A... Ah, pero es que siempre es lo mismo, creería yo, porque yo uso zapatos para trabajar o para ir a trabajar. Uh -huh. Porque si solo es así, siempre es, es I wear shoes for work. Sí, ve. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí. Vaya. Ya tiene las cinco entonces. Sí. Vaya. Ah, pues ahora hay que hacerlo de casa. Ya tiene alguna de esas. No, usted ya las tiene. Yo tengo dos. Mm. He mm. puesto I wear short at home. Creo que así es correcto. Okay, I wear, I, I wear short at home. Cap in, in my house. Gorro. Cap, dijo. Sí, sí, gorra. Gorra. En el parque. Por parque. No, no es por, ¿verdad? En el parque. En el parque. En Shoes. Shoes. I wear a silk for many. Uy, ya donde estaba escribiendo que no me veo aquí. I wear a silk for many. Terminó la tres. Suik, creo que es Suik. The beach. Um, Sumuin beach o beach. ¿Cómo es, teacher? La, la playa. Beach. 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 Se escribe beach. Así. The beach. Ajá. The beach. Me explico beach. Ajá. Uh -huh. The beach, entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora sería la cuatro. Teacher, la repeat, cuatro. please. Beach, the beach. As he escribe. That is so, correct. Um, mire, teacher, y ahí ve en la célula, en la, en la siete, mm -hmm. eh, cuando se trata de ella, hay no hay necesidad de ponerle la A. Solo así como está escrito, Son está hoy. Pijama, varia. Ah, ok. El A no, no afecta mucho si es she o he. El A afecta si el objeto es singular sí, o plural. Por ejemplo, ah, tú dices okay. un carro, decís a car. Pero si vos decís ah. dos carros, tú decís two cars, ah. sin el A. O sea que si es plural, no puede llevar el A. En este caso, como es pijamas. ¿hmm? En la 3, donde he wears shoes for office. Así está bueno. That's correct. He wears shoes for the office. Teacher, one question. Yeah. Uh, number six. Yeah. I, I wear a cap to go file. Está bien así para el campo. I wear a cap. 
Oh, pero querés decir al, al campo. La, la, al campo. Como una tarde de campo, digamos así. Mm -hmm. Ahí sería así. countryside. Ah. I wear a cap to the countryside. To the countryside. ¿Cómo escribe? Eh, I'll spell country. Countryside is C O U N T R Y S I D E. Ay, me quedé de vuelta. Okay, now I know that everybody's not finished. If you're not finished, that's going to be your homework. Thank you. Now, teacher. yes, we're going to go to section 4.2, lesson objective. In this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in daily life. En esta clase aprenderán los colores y cómo este tema es usado en la vida real. So, for this activity, I want you to take out your notebook and your pen so that you can take notes. Listen to the conversation, please. Listen to the conversation, please. Right. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. White. Gray. Light gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! It is mine. It's a disaster! Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with. Okay, now at this moment we are going to practice the pronunciation of this conversation. Everybody repeat please. Great. 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 Our clothes are dry. Our, Our clothes, clothes are dry. Are dry. Are dry. Where is my new blouse? Where, Where is my new blouse? What color is it? What, what color, color is, is, it? is it? It's white. It's, it's, it's white. white. 
here's a light blue blouse. Here's, here's a, light a light blue blouse. blouse. Light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, no, it's not mine. No, no. it's not mine. Not mine. Not mine. Wait. 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 It is mine. It is it's mine. mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Or Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? Um, they're mine. Sorry. Oh, oh my, sorry. All right, at this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions referring to this vocabulary? What? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this dialogue? Um, disaster. 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 Another word that you might not understand? Glotters. Glotters. Huh? Glotters. Or glotters. Glotters. Blouse. 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 Another question from the vocabulary? No. All right. Now, what we are going to do is take a couple of minutes and we are going to practice the conversation in pairs five times. Five times you are going to practice the conversation in pairs five times. Any questions? No. Somebody, does somebody have a question? No question. All right, let's go. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. It's white. Where is like blue blues? Is is it yours? No, it's not mine. Why? It is not. It is mine. How was it? Here? It's mm -hmm. a disaster. Oh no, our work clothes are like blues. Blue. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Here's the problem. Is these new new blue jeans? How 
jeans are they? Oh, they're my sorry. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, ahora usted es Pat y yo Julie. Okay. Real, how clothes are dry? Where yes, is great? ¿Cuál? ¿A dónde? La, la primera comienza. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Our cluster are dry. Are dry. ¿Sí? Are dry. Uh -huh. Where is my new blues? What color is it? Is it? It's white. Where is a light blue blouse? Blouse. Blouse. Sorry. Blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not. No, it's not mine. What? It disaster. 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 Oh, no. Your cluster are light blue. Here's the problem. It does new blue jeans. What jeans are they? Ooh, they are nice. My, my, my. Sorry. Sorry. Hoy, hoy Great. Your cluster are there, right? Where is my new blue? Blouse. 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 What? Blouse. It's my, it's disaster. Oh no, our, oh no, our, our closer are like blue. Here's the problem. It's these nail blue jeans. How jeans are they? Oh, they're mini sorry. Mine. Perfect. Mine, sorry. Mine. Oh. The pronunciation is mine. Mine. There. Vamos sure. otra vez. You ready? Uh, ¿Cómo es cuando se dice el, el, la, en el donde contesta en la tercera, el pat, que es his why? Ah, he wears. He wear. He wears. S. He wears. He wear. Y en la, en la última que dice el, el ulternizer, ese U, U, H, ¿cómo se pronuncia? S U no el, el U H en la última que él, él le dice oh U H uh, uh, oh oh uh, ah es como el como el oh. va que utilizamos acá ajá que hacemos le hacemos uh, quiero okay. ver quiero ver Okay, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Jennifer Pineda. Yes. Another volunteer. Two. Okay, Sara Carvajal and Jennifer Pineda. Okay. Okay. Hola. Hola, Sarita. Okay, comienzo. Sí. Gray. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blue? Blouse? Blouse. 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 Okay. What? What color it is? Is it's, it? Is 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 it? What color is, is it? What, what color, color is, is, it? is is it? It's white. 
Um, it's one. Uh, where's I like blue blues? Blouse. Yeah. Blau. Blau. Blouse. It is yours? No, it's not mine. Why it is mine is a disaster. Oh, no. Our, our house closet are light blue? What is the problem? Is this new blue jeans? How jeans are they? Oh, there's, there's, there's my sorry. Okay, all right. Applause for the participants. Uh, Jennifer Pineda, select somebody. Andrea Cruz. Okay, Andrea Cruz. Okay. Sara Carvajal, select somebody. Uh, Patricia Vasquez. Patricia Vasquez, go ahead. Andrea, you start. Okay. Get our closet are dry. We are my name blues. What color it is? Is it? It's white. Uh, here's the uh, no, head is a light blue blouse. It is your. Is no, it it's yours? It's, it's is yours. it yours? Is it your? Is it yours? Is it your? No, it's not mine. What? It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no! A lot close closer or closer a light blue. Where, where's the problem? Is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are many, sorry. Many or mine? Mine, sorry. Mine, sorry, very good. Applause. Okay, now what you're going to do is you are going to write a similar conversation here on the discussion forum. You're gonna write it here. You're going to write a similar conversation. Any questions? Any questions? ¿Qué porcentaje que se parezca? Oh. About 70%. Okay. All right, ready? Let's go. Regresamos, Andrea. <ríe> Regresamos, Jenny. Vamos a hacer una conversión igual que la de ahí. Una conversación similar. Quiero ver. Ay. ¿Cómo lo puedo? Usted hasta después la hace, me dijo. Hola. Hasta después la hace. Uy, pero esta no. Vaya, sería como... No, me sacó. No puedo hacerlo, no sé.
Me sacó de la, de la página, no sé por qué. De la plataforma de donde se va llenando. Yo como del teléfono me conecto, no mm. puedo. 4.3 era así, aquí está. Ok. Vaya, vaya dictándome entonces. Solo los colores vamos a cambiarle y la camisa me dijo. Le podemos cambiar. Ajá, como. Es que creo que grid, grid es como el nombre de la, de la persona. Y donde le pre, Our clothes are three. Where is my new blouse? Oh, es el t-shirt, el t-shirt, no lo había visto. Oh, teacher, ¿verdad? Que Grid es el nombre de la, de la muchacha, ¿verdad? Cri, 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 teacher. Se le congeló la imagen. Ok. Bueno, pongámosle como que sería ¿Será, Mauricio. ¿será el nombre? Yo creo que sí. Pongámosle como Mauricio, vea. Bueno. O oh, Clo. Pero no sé qué significa. Artery. Ok, sería aquí, ustedes, aquí, hay, bueno, aquí hay las dos son mujeres, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero se le puede cambiar, ¿verdad? Y, Lisa, con dos S de usted. Lisa. Y que eso es lo que le preguntaba a usted, ¿verdad? que era el grid. Ajá. Eh. Teacher. Rubén Santos. Sabe que sí, quizás es un nombre, una admiración, creo. Vamos a ver. Ajá, porque de ahí le pregunta where, dónde, dónde está mi nueva blusa. Ajá, entonces podemos ponerle where, where is my new t-shirt como camiseta, vea. Y de ahí. Usted me pregunta que qué color es. Where, ¿dónde está mi nuevo vestido? Algo así le empezaba a ver. Bueno, algo similar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Como mi nuevo vestido. Uh -huh. Mi nuevo dress. Where is my new dress? Ajá, uh -huh. y yo le... Y usted me pregunta, what color... No, voy a poner, voy a poner aquí María. What color is color it? Is it. Is it. Uh -huh. Entonces tenía Alice. No es María, es otro nombre. Ajá, uh -huh, cabal. It's. Aquí le contesta usted, Alice. Contesta. Is. Is. Creo que Pink. Color, pink. Pink, ¿no? como rosado. Ajá, uh -huh. pink. De quinceañera. Ok. Y ahí viene y le contesta, aquí le he puesto una amarilla, le contesta y le dice, here, eh, ¿qué sería aquí? Here, Uy, me perdí. Que le, le pregunta, here, a light blue, como que el color de la camisa es celeste. Que sí, no, esa es la camisa. Sería vestido, estamos con vestido. Ajá. 
sería lo mismo, ¿verdad? Here. Aquí hay un vestido que no sé. Rojo le vamos a poner. Ajá. Red. Okay. Pues sí, supuestamente se lo manchó. Pero como tiene que estar manchado entre rojo y, y rosado, porque ahí la hay... Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Now what we are going to do is go ahead and move forward to the following activity. Now for the next activity, what I want us to do is look at lesson objective 4.4. In this class, you will learn how to use possessives in order to describe belongings of things. En esta clase aprenderán cómo usar los posesivos para escribir las pertenencias de las cosas. Listen, please. I want everybody to please get out your notebook and your pen, and I want you to take notes. Take notes. And then you can ask me questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. 
In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And now, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks, umbrella, and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object, I'm going to grade out, and as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse. Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe as. Now is your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends. Uh, it's time to go. It's already time to go. Your homework is to write five examples using the possessives in the discussion forum. Five examples in the discussion forum using the possessives. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.